I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Scrappy gives praise to Kirk and Rashida's relationship. Feelings are... Feelings are... Only good when you... You know, when you stay in it. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you gotta stay... You gotta feel it. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Get through it. And then, like, give yourself a... A time frame of dealing with shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't deal with shit forever because shit ain't no shit. Shit, shit lasts forever. Pain shouldn't last forever. You know, we already know happy times don't last forever. The memories of happy times last forever. But at the end of the day, we gotta stay off that negativity. We gotta stay off that um, that um, everybody always feeling in they feelings. You know what I'm saying? And acting off they, they emotions. And that's why that's why women be everybody be. Because somebody acted off emotions, then think about the long term thing, which is shit, I won't even be feeling like this next week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You won't even be feeling like like agitated and irritated with that person next week. You're going to be like, on to the next shit. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We all got to. Grow up, we gotta have some kind of discipline. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell y'all something. When I be talking about Kurt and Rashida and Mendeezy, I really love that for them. I really like that. That's very motivating. Like, I really would, would hope that everybody would, like, look at them when it come to, uh, I don't know, what that is. You going to the bathroom right now? Wow. No, I just did. I, I, did. I had them bring me something to the room. Oh, shit. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You know, like, gotta have discipline, you feel me? You know, I love their marriage, like, you know, and everybody, and it it ain't meant for everybody to to rock with, you know? It's a room key card. It would never hold my room key up. I mean, my credit card up. But, like I was saying, like, you know, it ain't meant for everybody to like their situation. All women ain't down like that. Some women, they can't wait to get the hell on. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, you know, you can't... You know, some women, they be like, nah, once you cheat, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was talking to my uh, Erica. And she was like, shit, if we get married and you cheat, you da, 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 I ain't with that shit. Okay, you know, that's you. You know what I'm saying? But... Somebody else want to thug that shit out and make, I'm talking about, and the more she thug it out, the more money she make. Like, I'm like, damn, like, I need, <laughs> I couldn't have thugged it out either. Like, like I mean, but like I tell you, like I told somebody else, I'm not talking about a certain person. I'm talking about the real life shit that be happening. Like, I see online all the time, like, women have 80 kids done? or whatever and still leave what works for them. Thinking outside gonna be better, you know what I'm saying? They think outside gonna be better. Even the men do it, and not just women. Men do too. They get out. They be oh, like, ah, oh, like I ain't finna work shit out. I'm finna get outside and be, you know, happy. And I should have been, you know, all that shit. But the whole time that fucked up shit you was living, that you call fucked up now, it was working for you the whole time until you found out that little information about your partner. Okay, they cheated. My only thing is, if you can't be truthful about this shit, yeah, she should leave you. He should leave you. If you can't just sit down and have a conversation about it, then, you know, some people ain't with the conversation. That's cool. You ain't got to be. That's your life. But let people live their life. You know what I'm saying? If I decide, shit, I want to take you back, then that's me. I, the world ain't living through my eyes. You ain't feeling how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't my shit. The shit that worked for me don't work for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just got to understand that shit. And I promote marriage. I promote love, especially blackness. You know what I'm saying? Shit didn't work out for me, but I love the ones that it do work out for. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do it again 
when the, when God it's permits me to. Hours, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? You know, and I feel like you know everybody got a, everybody got their little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like they say, men couldn't even take that shit, but y'all just y'all just don't be knowing because men don't go around talking about what they women do because it'll make a look like a sucker. We tell you his woman going around. Get smashed, and of course, 100%. and of course, they ain't finna tell you they they done smashed somebody because they don't want to look like no hoe. You feel me? <laughs> you know, just don't do that shit. I know, I man, <laughs> boy, look, man, y'all y'all will be surprised. Tell everybody, but real love make you feel lame as hell. Yeah, real love make you feel lame as bro. Feel lame. Make you feel lame, they like you letting somebody walk all over you, bro. Like y'all have no idea, no idea. Of the women who be, who y'all praise, you feel me? Who y'all think are so godlike and don't do nothing? They do they shit underground, undercover. You yeah, they the good ones. They the good motherfuckers that do it and hide it. You feel me? Them them dudes who y'all think all preachers and holy than thou. Bro, is on the low. It, she, you you hundred percent right on that, bro. What? It take a different type of to be like. Yeah, girl, I'm here, bro. My girl cheated on me, bro. And I just I took I just her back. Took like, it back. If a dude do it, bro, like you said, we're not finna talk about it. Yeah, yeah I'm not finna. Like, I'm not finna. <laughs> the less people that know, yeah. the better. You know what I'm if, 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 if that how you feel, buddy, like you want to take her back, and however, you know, go ahead. You know, go ahead. Cause get what? That might be your partner. That might be your person. Y'all get down like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't. I ain't finna go against it, cause shit, y'all might be shit twenty times better in five years or two years. Don't nobody know your situation like you know your situation. You know what I'm saying? So don't let Instagram get you off around your partner. Don't let Instagram trick you thinking that it's something else better out there cause you seeing everybody do this and do that. That shit is not you. That shit is not you at all. That shit ain't got nothing to do with you. And don't listen to your friends either. Them babbit ass friends talking about leave your Leave your girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. It's the trick of the devil. You know, it's the trick of the devil. I'm telling you. Because then you'll find out. Then them bitches go get married. You, you done left your... You done left your, your, your girl. <coughs> and everybody that, that told you to get a divorce, they married now. And now you sing. You feel me? <laughs> shit is... Shit is hilarious, man. This shit is hilarious the way people go off social media, bro, and just don't work your shit out. Work your shit out. That's all I be talking about. When I talk about Kurt Rasheed, I'm talking about Kurt Rasheed. I ain't talking about nobody in my life. None of that. So y'all ain't got to tag nobody. I'm not talking about them. I I, I think more of y'all don't y'all got to see the people who I see all the time. I'm not thinking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not thinking about that. So don't you think about that? What I'm thinking about. What I'm talking about is a lesson that we all should take heed to. You know what I'm saying? Because they do it. Like, people be out here letting people just run their life. And then <coughs> them same people go live a life. Go get married and go have babies and get houses and cars. And they go through shit, too. But they ain't finna tell you. <laughs> they ain't finna tell you what they go through. Because get what? They want to they wanna keep their happiness. No matter if it's rocky and it go up and down. Shit, life is rocky and go up and down. Like, that's the way life is. You can be single and your life going to go up and down, up and down. You're going to have friends that f*** you over. You're going to have friends that back and do all that shit. You're going to have some friends that can do certain things and then y'all can talk it out and work it out. That's all it's all about. Your partner supposed to be your best friend, cuz. Your best friend. You probably better tell them anything. They can tell you whatever. And, okay, if the... Your best friend don't want to be with you no more. And your best friend don't want to be with you no more. And you got to stand on whatever you did. Whatever you said. You got to stand on that. You know what I'm saying? You got to. Um, somebody said, do so I don't mind. I wouldn't mind my daughter. No, my daughter going to make whatever decision she going to make. That's not my business. That's not my business at all. Y'all, y'all, and y'all just in everybody business. That's all. That's why you would think like that. Cause you thinking that you got that whatever you went through, Rashida going through, and you only seeing a small bit of piece of it, a quarter of it. Cause you ain't looking at the success that they marriage had. You looking at the negative shit. Look at the success she has in her marriage. Look at what they do together. 
You know what I'm saying? Look what they got together. Ain't nobody finna leave all that. Them folk got M's together. Ain't nobody finna leave all that. You a dummy if you do. Because, see, some women, they try to leave that and try to take some of the M's with them. Not even thinking that this is the, the who I'm with is the reason that I got the M's. Like, us being together got us the M's. Now, it's not going to go that way without each other. You can think that shit. A lot of women and a lot of think, oh, I'm going to take these M's over here and they're going to... It never works. It never goes. It never works. It never works. It never works. You said, well, you went, you shouldn't get married if you don't want to deal with the bullshit. Don't get married. I'm telling everybody, if you don't want to deal with the bullshit, don't get married because there's a lot of bullshit in marriage. No, it's a lot of it. 100%. This person feeling this way one day, that person feeling this way that day, and you can't get up and be like, oh, I don't like that shit. <laughs> you just got married. <laughs> you feel me? The thing about it is now, everybody feel like they can just walk away. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool because you can. But you got to stand on that shit a lot. You got to stand on that shit all the way. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.